Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. It's Saturday afternoon. Um, I'm recording this afternoon because I'm not guaranteed I'll have internet tomorrow. We have had a lot of rain, thunder and lightning and early last week or Monday around that time there was a big lightning strike out in our cul-de-sac and it took the internet out. We managed to have landlines that most of us don't use but it seemed to have damaged the internet and it took till yesterday afternoon to get it fixed. A lot of people not happy. So I didn't do a video last week like a catch-up video. I was pretty busy. So it's more like, what can I say, the fortnight that was is the hashtag catch-up. I've only got a few things to show you but of course let's get started so of course we're starting with bod hat a palooza with mad mimi's farming and crochet this is week four it is called and i have to remember because i've got a few to show you dun dun dun, dun. it is called cable beanie hat i really like this and yes, I said I would model some of the hats because I never really wear a hat because I don't rock a hat. But I do like this. I have to take it off, guys. It's 31 Celsius outside with about 90% humidity. Hence, the hair is crazy. Look at that. Now, that looks hard, but it's not. Once you um, do it a few times, the muscle memory kicks in and it's really easy and it looks really good. The only difference I did is I probably did a, a row or two longer and I did two single crochet around the edge. But that was week number four, Easy Cable Hat Beanie. I use Spotlights. Um, it comes under printed yarn, but it's actually called tweed. It's got a tweed fleck in it. It's really soft. I really like this hat. I do. I think it turned out great. I actually do have somewhere a really nice brown creamy pom-pom that I could put on that. I don't usually put pom-poms on hats, but do you think I could find it? I knew it was there at Christmas because I came across it, but no doubt when I'm not looking for it, I'll find it. So that was hat week four. Then we backtrack to week three, which is a bit of a joke for me. So week three was the baby toddler, easy baby toddler hat and I've been doing these hats across a couple of lunch hours at work because they're really quite easy to do and I can take this little project to work so first of all I made this baby toddler hat I've only got really like a boy head I need to buy a little girl head I think oops it's a bit crooked but there you go this is in um, spotlights um, violet and purple now the only difference I did because she does put a flower in it is I made a little bit of a band around it because these hats and there is hats this particular one is going to be double dipped into setters calendar cow for January because these were what I thought were the colors for January from her picture so that's the first one and that's a smaller one and I made that and then I completely forgot I made it and decided oh, I must have brought this yarn to work to make the hat. So I made another one because I forgot I already made one. So then I made one, I made this one larger. It's got a flower on the side and I put some purple around the brim. So that's a baby. This is probably like a small young adult, maybe 10 or 12. But there you go. I'm getting old because I forgot I'd already made the hat and I ended up making two for week three. I really do like this make along. I'm enjoying discovering all these hats and hats come in very useful for me to donate to charity. So week one, bod hat appalooza or I've done week two, week three, easy baby hat, highly recommend it. All I did was I used a four millimeter crochet hook to take it down a size and with this one I think she wanted 5.5 .5 and I use a 5 because I've discovered in the past I need to go down 
half a size to a size with crystals patterns for them to fit me and that's pretty standard for charity here my buff head so yeah there you go hat, bod hat a, a pluser i'll never get my name, tongue around that um with mad minis farmies and crochet can't wait for week five and hopefully i'll remember next time that i've already made one so the rain has stopped just about everything the supermarket shelves are quite bare um, it's difficult to get some places we've got localized flooding it's worth south but i did get some happy mail through so i thought i'd show you this is um christmas cards i've come through this one is from my friend and yani sister um abby at blue heart crochet she sent me and i've probably taken it out and used it a beautiful snowman stitch marker and this was the Christmas card she sent me wishing you a wish for Christmas and because of the mail it came through this week and she really enjoyed rock 2022 AU I've had a lot of positive feedback about that make along and hopefully everyone's enjoying vacation yarn vacation AU this year's make along so that was one card that came through and then the other card was from the net charm grammy Ta -da! snowmen i thought i would send you a little snow down under you are not kidding lynette i really like this because it's so hot it's nice to see a few snowmen so yeah some late mail that came through but that's mainly because of all the flooding we're having just about all over the country and here has been quite heavy rain so the other thing I've done my hat my next hashtag catch up of course is Amigurumi Wars I'm been doing quite a few big knitting projects um, which is not like me at all I am trying to expand my knitting skills so in between I need a little project to keep me going and I'm really enjoying Amigurumi Wars so I have made, this is a paid for pattern from Rel at the Dabbling Hook. Don't forget everything to do with the video will be in, listed in the description below if you want to check out the channels I've mentioned and the patterns. This is TDH Octo 2, the Dabbling Hook Octo 2. I've made it before but not for a long time and um, I think it's on Etsy, I'm not sure if it's on Ravelry. But I have made coral, coral the octo, and I have a thread I haven't trimmed off yet. There you go, little coral. This is um, red heart ombre in the colour sea coral, a um, bit of a scrap ball I had left over and thought it would be ideal to make octo too. So that is for Amigurumi Wars. Now the other thing I have made comes out of a Amigurumi pattern book called Cuddly Animals to Crochet. This was given to me by um, Janice in Victoria when I visited her. And I've always thought I'd like to make a whale. So I'll fold it over. That's Henry the whale. And I have made him. Now he looks fairly easy, but I can tell you I had a bit of trouble with the tail. So here is my Henry the whale. He's got a grey underbottom and that's his tail. Thing thinks he's not quite finished because he should have some side flippers and a blowhole. But the pattern doesn't call for it and I'm really not talented enough to work that out yet. But I'm doing pretty good with my Amigurumi Wars. So that is Henry the whale got hot eyelashes and yes doing the tail end because it it was quite different the way they did it and um, I think the book is more intermediate beginner to intermediate level maybe advanced because some of the explanations assume you know what they're talking about but Henry the whale for Amigurumi Wars from the book that Janice sent me the book itself is really well set out I'll just unclip that what they've done is oh, da -da. 
it's in sections so you've got a forest section where you'll get a fox owl deer raccoon rabbit you've got a farm section where you get a sheep cow pig cat and a bee africa section giraffe hippo zebra lion ostrich asia section tiger panda elephant australian koala kangaroo platypus south american paul the sloth Chameleon, Tommy the monkey, and then there's the water section, Henry the whale, the frog, the turtle, and the octopus. So yeah, they do it in sections, like animals from different areas, and I really quite like this. I really like the water idea, and I also like the, I have to check out Harry the raccoon, because I think my dog Saxon's face, he's starting to look like a little raccoon with all his grey and his black around his eyes. So that is my two entries, or well, I'll have three, maybe another one, I don't know, before the end of the month for Amigurumi Wars. Amigurumi for me is a learning skill, but it's a break from all the big knitting patterns that I'm doing. Um, some of them are quite difficult, and I'm really testing my limits with my skills doing them, but I am enjoying learning new things. So that's pretty much it. That's all I've really done for the fortnight because work's really busy. I haven't had long lunch hours. Um, 31st is scholarship presentation day and it's pretty full on till then. I thought I'd do the video now because both the boys are out. Things gone to the um, supermarket for me. See what he can get. And Reeves is out and about somewhere. I know he's talking about bookshops and record shops and just generally catching up with mates so yes that is my fortnight that was I hope you've enjoyed the hats let me know if you've tried any of those hat patterns out and if you have any suggestions for a beginner and a groomist that you think I might like to try there are lots and lots of patterns out there and sometimes it's hard to sort the wood for them, the trees so guys, until next time, stay safe, stay well, and anyone can make an Opto 2 with the longer head. I think she is really cute. Bye for now.